Hi, I'm Marty Nemco. Recently, I posted a composite letter from a person who had always lacked motivation. Well, this composite letter describes a person who always had been reasonably motivated, but the COVID restrictions have taken a toll. Dear Dr. Marty, I'm a university professor. I'm tenured, so my job is secure. But now that the school year is over, in looking back, I have to say I'm not proud of myself. Being able to teach from home, somehow I felt less motivated to prepare for my classes and to give assignments other than multiple choice tests, which I know aren't good, but I couldn't make myself face reading class sets of essays. If I were my usual responsible self, I should want to go back to in-school teaching. But when my university sent us a survey asking if we want to return to in-person teaching in the fall, like 65% of K-12 teachers in a survey nationwide, I wrote no. And in response to the next question, which asked why, I lied. The truth is I enjoy working less. But I said, well, I don't want to, to avoid spreading COVID. Our chancellor now says the university will probably open in the fall using a hybrid format, part in-person, part remote. But if there is the predicted second wave next later in the year, it'll be 100% remote. I fear I won't work hard enough in the fall with, when I'm teaching remotely. But deep down, I really don't want to be a slug. Any advice? Here's my response. You said you've been reasonably responsible previously, and university professors have to be hard workers to get a doctorate and to become a professor. So rather than being a slug, is it possible that at least part of the problem is that you haven't been well enough trained in the art of teaching remotely? Perhaps your university will provide training this summer, but even if not, might you want to explore some resources on remote teaching? There's a number on the internet, for example, Dartmouth has. So I think if you just Google, if you're interested, if you Google uh, uh, Dartmouth uh, and uh, on the remote teaching, you'll find it. To keep you accountable, might you want to ask a trusted colleague or even an administrator if he or she would email or phone you at the end of each class session asking you how it went? Of course, you could lie. But perhaps keeping in mind that you do want your students to get a good education, you'll make yourself report honestly. That way, for fear of giving your, quote, supervisor a bad report on yourself, might you work more diligently? More foundationally, if you fear you'll be less helpful than is wise, do you need to keep reminding yourself that the life well led is significantly about contribution? On your deathbed, would you feel better about how you lived your life if, even when teaching remotely, you were as good a teacher as the best one you had when you were a student? In any event, I thank you for watching. I'm Marty Nemco. I welcome your thumbs up and I accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and I especially like it if you hit the share button below and share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.